My name is Will, and this past year has been complete hell for me. I think we can all say that to some degree, but I genuinely mean it. I lost my job, got kicked out of my apartment, and wound up living on the streets for a few months. The only thing that saved me, as crazy as it sounds, was selling illegal copies of movies from the dark web. I was at a homeless shelter, waiting in line for the daily meal, when one of the men in line started to openly complain. This food tastes like shit. You all are trying to poison us, he shouted. You know, there are quicker ways to make money than sitting around here waiting for government stimulus, he added. Everyone ignored him, everyone except me. Once I got my meal, I slid over to his table and introduced myself. You sure were big talk in the line a second ago. You really know a quick way to make money? I asked him. Sure I do, but it is risky, and I wouldn't recommend it for a young person like you with lots of life to live, he said. Just tell me, I demanded. All right, sure. You know how we get web access for one hour per day? Well, I can teach you how to access the dark web and sell certain digital products to customers, he promised. I told him I was interested, and we agreed to meet up and share our computer time that evening after dinner. I sat alongside him in the rec room as he logged into the private browser and typed in a website on the dark web. This place here is a marketplace that offers movies and TV shows at a cheap price. You can sign up to be an affiliate for them. All you need to do is sell them to people in real life or to people on the internet for a discounted price. The dark web marketplaces usually take a 50% cut. It may not seem like great money, but if you sell a few hundred copies, that can add up to a lot. As we search the forum, I noticed quite a few links to movies that normally cost money from streaming apps like Disney and Hulu. So what you'll need to do is agree to be a third party seller for one of these bigger companies, he said. That sounds easy enough. I used to work as a telemarketer and I was pretty good at selling people stuff, I admitted. Then this should be right up your alley, but do be careful. Oftentimes, criminals use these DVDs to spread viruses to people's hard drives and such. I would recommend you verify the content before you actually sell it. Make sure you aren't giving people more shit, he said. The next day, I used my computer time to locate three different employers on the same web page. My job was simple. They would send me a copy of a pirated movie, either from a streaming service that would normally cost money or from a stream they had recorded themselves. From there, it would be up to me to sell it. Since my computer time was limited, I chatted with friends at the shelter, convincing them to buy my movies. For a while, it wasn't a bad situation. I sold five to seven movies a week and had enough money for food and new clothes. I was still at the shelter, but at least it didn't feel like I was going to be trapped there forever. Eventually, I was able to get out of the shelter and into a small crappy apartment while I increased my illegal movie operation. One day, I got on my computer to look at new movies to sell. I noticed I had received a new message from a seller. It was a Korean distributor named World Movies. They even wanted to sign me up for a permanent contract as their marketer. The contract was simple enough, or so I thought. All content sent by World Movies cannot be viewed except by the buying party. Employees of World Movies must never open any content from the company or risk losing all benefits. I figured it was just an excuse to make sure that someone didn't upload the movies they had hacked and stole online for free. In other words, they wanted to be sure they got their cut. I jumped into regular online chat rooms, finding customers left and right to sell my movies to. I had a sales pitch for every situation ready to type into the chat. You will never find a movie like this on Hulu and not at this price. You're wasting money every month on Netflix and maybe watch like five things. At least this way you get your money's worth. I know you can't go see movies right now, so rather than pay for a premium service, just get the movies you want at half the price. I never even looked to see what movies I was selling. I figured any content was better than nothing at all. People were starving to watch something fresh and new, and rarely did they question where I got my movies. It was a mutual understanding between seller and client. They scratched my back and I scratched theirs, but it didn't last that long. One day I was checking my emails when I noticed a reply from one of my customers demanding that I provide a refund. Your movies caused my wife to harm herself. I was in the other room cooking and I heard these otherworldly screams coming from the den. When I got in there, I saw she had taken a knife and plunged it into her eyes, the message read. Soon I received a dozen more similar messages describing visceral accounts of people mutilating their bodies after watching the films I had sent. Reading through their experiences made my entire body shake. Each one was worse than the last. My little kids were hoping to watch a wholesome flick, 
Instead, I watched as they tore one another apart. I was helpless to stop it. It felt like there was something else there in the room with me when I watched the film. I was lucky to make it through the film alive. At one point, I felt compelled to actually try and hang myself. My roommate managed to stop me before I did, thank God. The last one made me even more worried for my personal safety. This feels like domestic terrorism. I'm reporting your IP address to the police. My first reaction was to try and contact the World Movies representative. But to my surprise, it looked like their entire website was shut down. No record of it even existed. I tried a different approach and went to the main forum and typed in a question. Has anyone else had a bad experience working with World Movies? I asked. I received no response. I closed the laptop and tried to get some sleep. I couldn't help the people who had already been hurt, but maybe I could get to the bottom of what was happening. In the morning, I got a message from an anonymous user asking me to join in a private chat. They called themselves Benedict. When did you work for World Movies? They typed out. For the past week, I sold about 10 of their movies to people across the web. I was expecting a 20% commission, I told them. A payday is going to be the very least of your worries very soon, the user told me. What do you mean? I asked. World Movies shut their doors to the public in 2008, at least 12 years ago. They were caught in a scandal selling torture films and questionable porn to people online, they replied. Another similar operation must have taken up the name, I said. You're not getting it, are you? All the films were confiscated by authorities, mostly destroyed or sealed up by federal lawsuits. The films you have been selling, they are cursed, the reply came. I don't believe you. There has to be another explanation, I said. Have you watched one of them? That's against company policy, I said. Open one and tell me that you don't look straight into the pits of hell, they replied. The chat ended a moment later. I sat there for a long time, checking messages and debating what to do. I decided to watch one of the movies. I opened it up on my computer and hit play. Text came on the screen, it read, Subject 76851, William Alcrest. My heart dropped. That was my name. Then I watched as it showed the last few weeks of my life through the lens of an outsider. Every movement I made on camera mimicked my actions in the real world, going to the shelter, buying the films, except the film changed some of the details. In this version, I was the one making these illegal movies. There was no third party. I was the one making people suffer and then filming it for sport. It was disgusting to watch, but I knew and understood what was happening even as the final screen flashed up. All information has been forwarded to authorities. I sat there in my room waiting for the cops to come. I decided I'm going to give World Movies one more film to add to their collection as I load my gun. So if you're the one watching this now, the curse is on you. Goodbye. Thanks for listening. If you enjoy these stories, be sure to subscribe to the podcast and check out some more of my episodes here.